how these aerators work is that the water gets drawn up from underneath, so it circulates the water uh, from bottom to top. But then what it does is it also, uh, as the water gets thrown up into the air, it cools slightly, so it, it's a little bit cooler than the water that just left, so it becomes a bit more dense. So when it hits the water again, it also goes down and sinks down and helps that circulation from bottom to the top. And that's important for getting oxygen right down the bottom at the sediment uh, interface with the, with the water, which is where you need it the most, because that's where your good bacteria uh, needs oxygen to, in order to break down the muck and the sludge and uh, all the organics that uh, ultimately are the food of, of uh, algae and weed. The other way that these aerators work is that when the water hits, it creates a ripple effect and that rippling effect increases the surface area of the water. So what that means is that you get more surface area for the gas to exchange from the air and the water. So any noxious sort of gases that may have built up um, carbon dioxide, methane, uh, hydrogen sulphide, these sorts of gases that can uh, that build up in the sediment, uh, they can exit the system and your good gas, your oxygen, can come into the system.